Good morning. It's one of those mornings I made a video and after I had finished the video, I realized my microphone was on mute. Yeah, a nice 20 long minute video that will never exist, only in the infinite and multi-universe. It is, if you look at the time at the bottom of the screen, it says 10.38 a.m. That is South Africa time, but I'm not in South Africa. I'm sitting in Washington, D.C., and uh, it is six hours behind, so it is almost 5 a.m. in the morning. I've been up for a while trying to stick to the South Africa time, and I'm happy that I can have this time to send the video and make the video. I am working on videos for the advanced custom fields, but it is not one of those videos that you can just make and everybody will get it. People who work with advanced custom fields for a long time, they will know what it does. But you'll also find that when you speak to people that use advanced custom fields, parts, tools, set the works, almost everyone has their own workflow. And that makes it very difficult to really sit down and look at it from a starting position from A to Z how to approach it. So I hope that within by next week, I'll start rolling out some videos beginning with custom post types because it, it starts there and then it works its way over there. And in the end, you find a lot of integration, but we will get there. And especially for people who's never worked with those things like dynamic content and advanced custom fields, when you see the videos, you'll probably think, ah, oh, oh, okay, I can do that. that. That is how these things work. And really, there is no right answer. If you go and YouTube it, you will find everyone is using it differently. That makes it rather complicated. But we are looking at the new pop-up feature that Brizzy has given us this week. And again, a great start in a great Brizzy way. Now, before we started looking at the pop-up, I will post this link on an article that I found. And I like go reading up on these things whenever they come out, purely because you have to be very careful what you put on a site nowadays there we as humans are so easily influenced by what we see and sometimes you know you are you're like the the kid who discovered comic comic sense and you start using it in everything and later on people tell you it looks ugly and you are so surprised pop-ups can be that caveat for you and it can be your downfall if not done correctly but if you see the title here why you should be using pop-ups on your online store they mention you for example in a test there was a website only receiving 10 to 15 subscribers per day even though they got 44,000 unique visitors on a day but after implementing a pop-up with a 60 second delay and that delay is a very important thing we'll talk about they began receiving 100 to 150 mails per day now this the delay pop-up is what we refer to as a time-based pop-up and you will look in this article you will see one two three four five now more or less at this moment Brizzy can only do the content based one and it's a good start because these are a little bit more advanced on the other hand these other four are the ones we use the most for example time-based is a very good example you sit on a site uh, a person opens their website and they just sit there, look at the website for about two minutes or a minute, and then a pop-up comes up and say, did you find what you are looking for? Contact us. You've seen these kind of pop-ups, right? Scroll-based, for example, you scroll down on a long website and when you reach the bottom, a pop-up comes up to say, subscribe to our newsletter. An excellent intent pop-up, these things, Brizzy said, they will give us all. So at this moment, we only have the content-based one, more or less. What I want to just say for people who have never used pop-ups, please be careful. Disadvantages of using pop-ups, I am one of those people. I cannot stand a pop-up that continuously pops into my face, even I close it. That's one. Two, I cannot stand a pop-up that sort of, you know, uh, there's one website that I keep going to in the last few weeks. Every time I get there, it starts with, hey, we haven't seen you in a long time. Welcome back. And when I come back five minutes, unless five minutes is a long time for them and they really miss me a lot, after five minutes, I get exactly the same pop-up. Hey, we haven't seen you in a long time. Welcome back. Those kind of pop-ups, in the end, you leave the website. So this is exactly like sliders. You have to throw caution to the wind. You have to have a function. You have to make sure that what you are putting in the pop-up, what you are using it for, is not going to distract from your website. 
But as I said, look at, this, look at the stats. There is good in it, but if it's overused or used incorrectly, there is bad. So let's go look at the pop-up builder and three things we will be looking at in this pop-up builder. The first thing, we're going to load a normal block because we can do it from there. You can apply a pop-up in a button or you can do a link to a text. Let's first do the button. You click on the button and it can be any button, right? If you bring in a new button, it will do exactly the same. I'm putting a new button in there. If you click on the button, you go to link, you will see the window up here pop up. So you see anywhere you can do this. I'm just going to delete this one. Go back here just to keep it nice. Go to the link, click on pop up and then click on pop up. And then you will see the very familiar blocks window. And in the future, this will be populated with layout design templates for pop-ups. At this moment, we only have this default one. And if you click on it, it will open a pop-up. Right. But you may be thinking, what's going on now? Where's my pop-up? Uh, interestingly enough, you have to go back and click on it. And then you get the pop-up. So that is something Brizzy can maybe think of. When we load the pop-up, it should just automatically open this window so you can begin start working on it. And while you are in this pop-up window, you will notice quite a few things. Number one, you will notice it fills the entire screen. There's a background here. It's not just this window. There's an entire background. And it displays in the center like this. You're not going to be at this moment getting to pop up here at the bottom, up here or anything. This is standard how it looks at this moment. You also have a pop-up control icon sitting over here. You can save it globally with this one, make it global. You can save it for you know later use as a normal one, as a favorite. You can change the background. So you can click on this, grab a background. Let's make it funky. And then over here, you can put an overlay. So you can see there is already dark overlay applied. If I reduce the opacity, the Smarties come out. It would be nice to have a little bit more control over this background image in the future. That would be nice so we can maybe change a few things on it. And those are features that we can request on GitHub. So this is your, you can, the, the border and the border between your screen and the pop-up window. This is not going to be transparent at this moment. And this is not a floating window. It fills your entire screen. Then once you go in here, you basically have a row and you have columns inside the row and you're going to style it like you would do with any other block that you would be working in. So let's go have a look at it. And if you want to exit your pop-up builder, you click here on ZX and then you go back. And if you want to go back and edit it, you click on the button, go to link, go to pop-up, click on the pop-up and you are back in your pop-up window. Now let's see how it works. Preview. And then from here, click on it. Ta-da! Great stuff, right? And just to show you a little bit with what you can do, let's close the pop-up a little bit. What you can do with this one, you can really, really, what am I doing? Uh, you can really, really do every, almost everything in this pop-up. You can add more columns within columns like normally over there. You can add an image within there. So you can start building up, you know, whatever thing you want to put in here. If you want to have like a real estate and uh, contact an agent, click here and then their little photos pop up and the cat will always go along. O'Malley the cat, right? And you can even for your background here, click on that. Let's go to background, make it a map, right? At Wall Street at this moment. And you will see that the map will appear. Let's reduce our opacity. I wonder if the map, yeah, there we go. There is the map. So if you do this kind of thing, then you can go to the column, put an overlay there, and reduce that a little bit. Good. So, and for this one, let's go for this. I'm going to add another column, and then I'm going to delete this column. And then in here, you can add a form, right? So if you want somebody to send you details, send an email, a competition, that's what you can do. So let's also give that that column over there. Click on it. Come on, go away. There we go. Let's give that a dark background. Right. So you see a lot what you can do with it. And then if we go again and load a preview, 
it will give us our page we click on the button and there we go so much that you can do i mean this is what you can do internally in this pop-up is just amazing i've done some crazy th things while i was te testing it i added a wordpress menu i mean yeah you can even add a menu right it's really really the sky's the limit for content what you can add in here and now it doesn't want to add my menu typical right i want to show you kids and it doesn't want to do it i added the menu earlier it worked perfectly let me see if I drag it in again. Is it on my side this time? There we go. There we go, right? Second time is the charm, not the third. So even a menu you can add in here. Everything up here, videos, the works, you know, like if you have a link for watch a video, you click on it and it opens up in your pop-up video. So this is your pop-up and this works with the button. It also works with text. You have to though, and I'm starting with this, observe what your text does when you add a link to it for some reason sometimes the styling is overwritten by that blue standard bright blue that we know from brizzy and you have to be aware when that happens and go back and fix your styling let me show you first let's say we want to make this easy with brizzy a pop-up click for some reason you just put your cursor anywhere in there at the end click on the link Go to pop-up and you see the moment I click on pop-up, it became this brizzy blue again. And now you can add your pop-up. Right, so now this is a pop-up and now you will have to go and restyle it to the color that you want. So if I click on it, you will notice nothing is changing. The color just remains the same. It doesn't matter. I can put my cursor there. It doesn't matter where I click, nothing is happening. The only way I found out to make this do the way you want it to go and do and behave is you need to move this little slider or this slider or your hex code just a little bit. So let, let me move this hue slider and you will see now it changes color. Once you do that, it will change the color. But when you start clicking after you've done that, it does not want to do. You see, I can put it back on this blue. After that, it doesn't want to change anything you need to go again and drag this slider that scrubby one or this one then it will work or enter your hex here this is the same for okay and just to show you that is a link it's a pop-up at the moment ding ding and click on it Ta -da! right great stuff and the same here here we have this entire row of text now maybe sometimes you have you have an area that you will say download here let me type that download here and you have it in the middle and you just want to make this a link this part so you highlight that you go again to your little URL link thingy here and you click on pop-up you add your pop-up and when you go back you see it's again that blue now again when you want to go and style it and you choose another color Let's make it again red. Now you see the color has changed, right? So you need to remember for some reason, the swatches do not work when you have applied the link. You need to either go drag around here or you need to go add your hex in here. Just look at that, how it jumps around the moment I clicked on it. Okay, so again, let's just go and preview it so that you can see that I'm not lying to you. It does work when I click on here, your pop-up it will open very very nice so that is our pop-ups and again like all the features that have been rolling out recently it's a good start but as i've mentioned to you the thing that most pop-up users will be looking forward towards is time-based definitely exit intent is also a very popular one for you know when people are ready to leave your site in like hey, 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 where are you going mate come back here right and then of course scroll based is a very popular one when you want people to sign up for your mailing list or for a competition or even a chat right so very 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 promising what we are seeing here and it is nice um, you know getting the confidence that we have invested and that Brizzy is giving us these updates 
So there we go, pop-up builder. And as those new pop-up builders, uh, the new features for the pop-ups will come, I will keep updating this video. So I'm off to Norway. And maybe in Norway, I'll already post one or two. I've never been. I've never been. See you around. Enjoy the weekend.